Welcome. Today we will learn how to determine titratable acidity in a wine sample using sodium hydroxide titration. For this we will need a burette, distilled water, a beaker, an Erlenmeyer flask, stir bars, a pipette, phenolphthalein indicator solution, sodium hydroxide standard solution 1 molar and our wine sample. We start by filling our burette with a standardized sodium hydroxide solution. Make sure the stopcock is in the closed position. We remove the excess sodium hydroxide solution from the burette using a waste beaker. We make a note of the starting volume of sodium hydroxide in the burette, in our case 0 ml. We start to prepare our sample by measuring 100 ml of distilled water and pouring this into the Erlenmeyer flask. We continue by measuring 10 ml of our wine using the pipette and adding this to the distilled water in the Erlenmeyer flask. To this, we add 3 to 5 drops of phenolphthalein indicator solution. And we give it a good mix. Our sample is now ready and we can start titrating. We make a note of the starting volume in the burette. Notice that we are using a stir plate and a stir bar, but samples can be run without them by simply using manual agitation. Start the titration by gently opening the stopcock and letting the sodium hydroxide solution drop in your sample flask. Continue titrating your sample until the solution in the flask reaches a pale pink color that doesn't fade for about 30 seconds. Make a note of the final volume of sodium hydroxide in your burette, in our case 9 milliliters. You have now finished titrating your sample and it is time for calculations. We will use the following formula. Titratable acidity grams per liter equals final volume of sodium hydroxide used minus initial volume of sodium hydroxide multiplied by 0 0.75. Plugging in our numbers, we have 9 milliliters final volume of sodium hydroxide used for titration minus 0 the starting volume times 0 0.75. After a quick calculation, we have our answer. We have a titratable acidity of 6.75 grams per liter. And this is it for this video. We hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. Bye for now.